one other thing I have looking at this offense is is Anthony Brown is he capable of becoming like a top 10 quarterback in, in college football this year in 2021? Like, is that in there for, for him? Because I think that's ultimately going to be what decides if this team goes from being a team that wins the Pac-12 conference and is capable of going and, and winning the Rose Bowl and, you know, three straight years of doing that, uh, of winning the league, to then becoming a team where it's, hey, they're not just a, a conference championship caliber team. They're one that can play in that playoff, play in that air quotes invitation tournament, um, be one of the four best teams in the country. I think that's going to be the difference. You know, Anthony Brown's play at quarterback, I think ultimately will be what decides if this is a team that's conference championship caliber or college football playoff caliber. I, I would put it exactly the same way. I think this team can win the league with Anthony Brown game managing. They can go seven and two or eight and one, and they can take care of business without exceptional quarterback play. I think they're good enough everywhere else. They can beat the teams in the conference. I don't think the Pac-12 really has a lot of teams with like playoff aspirations. I don't think they have a lot of teams that are that quite that good. Like I don't think Washington's going to be as good as they were a couple of years ago. I think USC is probably the team that would be closest to Oregon in terms of talent. Um, you know, maybe UCLA with some experience could, could push a little bit there too. I mean, they thought they played pretty well down the stretch, but like, I'm not that scared. There's not a lot of teams in the Pac-12 that scare me, but when Oregon faces Ohio state and they face, let's say they do get to a college football playoff, they're going to need excellent play at quarterback. I don't think you can win like a, a game managing kind of game with the, with him at quarterback, honestly, um, against those teams. So like, yeah, I'm with you. I, I think. What we've seen from Anthony Brown is I don't think he's going to lose you any games. And I think he's plenty good enough to help you win games against probably anyone from like team 15 to 90 in the country. Just like his play isn't going to hurt. He's not going to cost you those games. But when you take it up a step and you play the top teams, I don't know if he's going to be quite good enough there to match them, you know, punch after punch. Cause I just, again, and maybe this is really unfair. Cause I think the snap count we've seen is still below like a hundred with him at, at Oregon at quarterback, but, I just haven't seen it be very good and very effective throwing it downfield. And you're going to have to hit some of those shots. You can't have an offense that's all dink and dunk. You know, you've got to at some point put it down, push it down. You got to take shots. Got to be aggressive. And the guy, and they've got the receivers to do it. So, like, I'm not saying, and, and maybe that makes up for a lack of his arm strength or accuracy in those passes is they just have enough speed down there that a guy is running wide open and he gets – he gets separation and scores a touchdown. Doesn't have to be a perfect throw, but we've now seen him a couple of times miss guys that he shouldn't have, and he could have had. I think it was Johnny Johnson or Michael Pittman early on in that game for what would have been a touchdown. And he, he airmailed it by about five yards past him. And that's sort of the, that was that play. Honestly, I don't want to say the other 28 attempts don't matter. Cause I thought there was some really good stuff, but that attempt probably sticks out in my brain uh, than the other ones, more than the other ones, just because it again, sort of showed an area of, of weakness from my perspective that, that you'd like to have seen some improvement on. And uh, you, you bring up a really good point here is, Maybe with more time. I mean, one of the common things that you you heard from the players after the spring game, I mean, when I asked them, you know, what was kind of the overlaying improvement you saw from your from your uh, you know your unit, offense or defense? And basically, every guy came out and said communication, being able to learn how to play together, learning how you know what the other one's going to think. It wasn't like, oh yeah, we got significantly better at you know, blindside protection of the quarterback. We got significantly better at, at picking up blitzes. We got significantly better at disguising our blitz packages. We got significantly better at rushing the quarterback. It wasn't like a, a, a football trait. It was a chemistry thing of we got significantly better at learning to play together. We figured out what this guy likes to do in this situation without communicating it. We now know how, you know, we work together better and we know what their strengths are and what their minuses are and how we kind of can counteract that together. That was what a lot of the players said. And so maybe that carries over into the spring in the month of May, in the month of June, while they're here in Eugene and they're going to school and, and they're doing their post spring training. And then when summer hits in June and July, when they're, they're basically not having to do schoolwork, 
because uh, school is now out and yeah. it, it's all nonstop football for this team. Maybe that's where they take these next steps where it's the development at receiver, the development at tight end allows Anthony Brown to make these plays to, to become better at connecting downfield because I have to get, I have to guess, Eric, this is probably going to be the best receiving court he's ever played with. I don't know what Boston college had on the top of my head, but I know Boston college hasn't been a highly successful program, you know, winning the ACC, winning their division in the ACC, much like Oregon has the last couple of years. So maybe it's the ascension of talent that he's playing with could elevate the game himself. I mean, we made the argument uh, for Herbert when he was coming out that wait till he gets to the NFL and he plays with better receivers, his game will skyrocket. Maybe that translates to Anthony Brown at Oregon because he's never had this type of talent before around him at the position. I like it. Let's go with that. Let's not question anything else. Let's just say he's going to get better, Matt. I know I, I, I say that facetiously, but like, no, like legit, like, no, that could happen. Maybe, maybe they'll just get on a better page and maybe this, maybe they just haven't had enough reps yet. And they'll, he'll start finding, Hey, Devin Williams, when he runs a go route, I need to put the ball here and the ball will be there, but we just didn't see it so far. 